Robotank here. It's a let's play of Fez. This game came out a few years ago, but I really haven't ever given much time to it. I've played through like the first two hours and set it down. Uh, kind of a mistake. It like really gripped me at the time and then just I forgot about it and moved on to other things. So here I am doing a let's play. It's going to be my first full playthrough. See how this goes. And the mail goes down. Improbably through all the pipes. Here we are in the village. Welcome to the mailbox. Well, all right. Next read mail. Dear Gomez, please meet me at Top of Village. I have something very important to tell you. Today is special day. Geezer. Oh, Geezer. All right, so we play as Gomez. You can read the sign over here. Gomez's house. Right, move the stick to look around, stab it back, that all seems normal. Talk to village with B. Gomez, Gomez. Hi, Gomez. Alright, you can jump up. Down in A, you can jump down. Oh, they really want to tell me about that, don't they? I, the controls make sense, they're intuitive. Not a lot of uh, tricks going on. Alright, geezer. Hello. Ha! There are you. Today is special day. Adventure is ready. It's Gomez time. Anytime now. Just you w There you go. It's Gomez time. What is this shape? It's not a square. Not a hexagon. So mysterious. What? Is it a cube? Okay, I really like the sound design in this game. Everyone talks about the art, but the sound is really cool. Uh, oh, strange text. Let me guess, at some point I'm going to need to go through and decode this. Learning alien alphabets. Oh, what a pain. She keeps going. This is long, too. Well, alright. Not yet. Someday it will happen. Spins suddenly not a 2D game anymore. The magic of science. More language I don't understand. What? So, if you're wondering why this game is called Fez, uh, it's all going to make a little more sense now as Gomez gains. The titular Fez. Yep. In a village where everyone is defined by their article of clothing, it's weird being the naked guy. Ta-da! Why oh, are you so happy? What? Is graphics, something's broken. Oh no. Is Gomez time over already? Kvump. Again, that sound design. So good. So you didn't see it on the way in because I started in with new game. This is what the start of the game looks like. Fez. Such a crazy experience. So meta. Look familiar? Here we are. Plus hat. Wham! 
Look at all these dimensions. Okay, so I didn't even try to spin it my first time through because I've played the first few hours before and I know you have to unlock 3D, but totally wasn't an option the first time we're in here. Now it is. So here's the village again, this time in 3D. How about that? Then we view it with no perspective, so everything's flat. Something's wrong, I need your help. I was sent to guide you, I am Dot. The hexahedron has been fragmented, shattered and scattered all over the world. You must restore it. Without it, everything will collapse. You have received a gift. A great secret has been revealed to you. There is a world beyond your village, and dimensions beyond the ones you occupy. This door leads to the outside world, but for now is sealed shut. The marking on it indicates that it won't open until you have collected at least one cube. There are many such doors in the world, each requiring more cubes than the last. I lost my dot voice somewhere in there. To reach the end of this journey, you will need to find all 32 cubes. But first, you must leave this place. Yeah, dot sounds like Geezer and everyone else right now. There are eight cube bits in this village, like the one right here. Together, they'll form a full cube, which you can use to unseal the door. Find them. So quick recap, shiny golden cubes, very important, gotta find them all, or else the universe collapses with you in it, no pressure. And remember, use the triggers to change your perspective. Now get going. I am playing with a controller, this game plays way better, like, is meant for a controller. Okay, classic adventure game, breaking and entering. This old man here, his house is my house now. Oh, the room over there, and through the fireplace. Treasure chest. Open it with X. Gotcha. What? It's a key. And open one locked door. Non reusable keys. Alright. I don't think there's anything else on this level, is there? Spin around a little bit. No. Oops. Okay. Back up. And there was a door on this level. That's the locked door, right? Oop. Let's go in here first. Empty. That's disappointing. The fact that this game has a day-night cycle is also really neat. Oh, what is this? You found a treasure map. Map of what to where? I don't know. Figure it out yourself. Hmm. A map of what to where? All these glyphs and symbols, strange papers, some sort of skull, various types of infinity signs. What does it all mean? That looks like one of the faces of the the tetrahedron. Well, if you want to know more, just jump ahead to the end of this Let's Play, where I figure it all out. Uh, otherwise, I will have to actually just work my way through it. Geezer's house. Hey, Geezer. It's your turn now. I'm tired. Plus, there's the eye thing. Uh, he had the eye thing when he was young, too. Although, notice in that picture, he does not have a fez, and now he has an old, worn fez. Also, similar similar icons in his house. Strange indeed. Okay. Oh, wait, wait, cube. Cube. Gotcha. Now, here's the locked door. No? Where did that locked door go? Oh, I opened it. I opened it. Of course I opened it. We have this house to break into. No, it's a school. We're learning about possible third dimensions. The uh, the procession of man. It's some evolution of of Gomez's. Square clocks. Standard alphabet. All right. 
Yep, another cube. How are we doing now? It's only four. Need more cubes. Slacking off here. All right. There we go. Cube number five. Got a guy with a crown, some sort of king. Two dudes, a little young person with a fez. Another person. Hmm, a guy with a headband and a guy with a fez. The king kind of has a headband. Is that young king or a prince? No one knows. Okay, there's a treasure chest over here. Oh. One more has to break into, and then we'll find a way to the treasure chest. at six. Whoa, what did I... Okay. Out of this room. Hmm. Oh, nice easy jump. There we go. We're at seven. It's so close. Okay. And quick down to the treasure chest. Oops, I'm on the wrong side. There we go. You know, I think actually the easy way across was just to stand on this brick and then rotate it. And you're magically transported back and forth. It's pretty handy. Okay, let's jump on here, rotate around. Number eight. We did it, team. You did it. Now you can unseal the door. Let's go. So back down safely to the bottom and try to do it without without murdering Gomez. Uh, I've actually managed to not die yet. Let's we'll see how long that lasts. I have a, a murder habit in adventure games, platformers. Uh, this game is very good about not punishing you for dying. It just respawns you on your last safe platform. The door is unsealed. Are you ready to begin your adventure? Hey, listen. I know this is your first time outside the village, so if you get lost, you can use the world map. Press back to bring up the world map. Oh, that was kind of a neat map. Zoom in and out. Rotate around. Each node represents a place. Alright, so here's all the rooms we came from. Two of the rooms had secrets in them. Here, if I rotate it, maybe that makes, whoa, more or less sense. And then here's where we are now, which has bits, according to that. There are bits here. So we have to get ourselves some bits. Probably stop counting to eight for all of these. We're gonna have to fill this box a whole lot of times. All right, one full cube. Which is fortunate because this door requires two. Here we go. Into the hub. Check this place out. Feels pretty important, eh? Let's have a look around, shall we? Oh, no way. It's another door. I told you there'd be a lot of doors. This one requires four cubes. This one, eight. And this one, 16. This place is like some kind of important door place? Oh, I don't know. That's why you're here. Now go find them cubes. All right. Well, so none of these are going to work. I can't get in here. So up we go. Oh, and one more thing. You press Y, you'll bring up the inventory. It keeps track of the things you find. Done with the tutorial. So one key, two cube shards, one treasure map, 
Zero artifacts. Mysterious side. And then back to cube shards. And then nothing on here. Those icons are interesting. I wonder if they point like, it looks like there should be more doors. Or maybe that's a label for the place below. Ah, yeah, that's probably what it is. We'll see what that makes looks like later. No, and there's this this weird infinity symbol. We saw that on a wall. I'm gonna end the first episode here. Thank you for viewing in. Uh, there are of course going to be many more of these, so I'm guessing something like 20 total. I don't know. We'll find out. We'll find out when I get there. Thank you for viewing. This is Robotank out. <laughs>